Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to factory reset ASUS Zen Wi-Fi AX Series model XT8, but we are not gonna go running for a paper clip to press that little button just yet. We will do it as advanced users. I will show you how to create backups, restore your settings, and what to do instead of factory reset if you have some connection issues. If the reason why you want to do a factory reset is just some connection problems, don't rush and try to reboot your devices first. Uh, you can reboot each device separately or reboot the entire network. To reboot separately, just tap on the home icon in Asus Rotor application and select a device you wish to reboot. Let's say this one, then tap on three dots over here and tap on reboot device, confirm your action and your device will be rebooted. It's just applying settings, wait for that. If you want to reboot the entire network, go to settings, this gear icon and find system settings. Tap on system reboot and confirm your action. Once again, applying settings and wait, it may take about two minutes. Press OK, go back to home screen and just wait for a while. Also, to keep your system healthy, I recommend you to schedule reboot. I mean, set reboot time when you are not at home or sleeping. To do this, go back to settings, system settings, tap on schedule reboot, enable this feature and adjust your reboot schedule like this. Tap on apply to save your changes and go back home. If you still need a hard reset, don't forget about your settings backup. The matter is that you may have a lot of different settings here, like quality of service, parental controls, VPN and so on. And if you reset your rotor to the factory defaults, you will have to set up everything from scratch. It may be frustrating, so you can avoid this by creating backup. So uh, let's go back to system settings, tap on setting backup and save your settings. And one more thing you should know, uh, to save your settings in a reliable place, I recommend you to go home and log in to Asus account. It's very easy because uh, they support Google, Apple and Facebook login and other login methods, for example, WeChat or Asus ID. So uh, login using your preferred method, just in a couple of taps, continue. Then bind your account with your router. And then go to settings, go to that system settings and do your backup, just save settings. Because uh, when you save your settings, when you do backup without uh, login, uh, the backup is stored locally. And you, if you reinstall the application, you will lost your backup. Uh, so I recommend you to do like this with login. And then you can reset your router to factory defaults right from here, from system settings, just system reset, confirm your action, but let me cancel uh, for this example, and then set up your router from scratch, go back to these settings, tap on restore, select your latest backup, tap on apply and enjoy. You don't have to set up everything from scratch, you don't have to set up parental controls and so on. And of course, pin and reset button on the bottom of your rotor is always your option. You can do like this, but keep in mind, if you reset your main rotor, the whole system will be reset. So let's do this. Press the button and wait for the yellow indicator. That's it. Now release the button, just wait for a while and your system will reset and reboot and you can set up a new network. And that's pretty it guys, I hope this was helpful, if yes consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and be awesome, bye!